Jake. Jake. It's a first time caller out of Virginia. Jake, get it off your chest, sir. Thank you for calling. Hey, how you doing, Jesse? All is well. How you doing, Jake? I'm doing well, too. Good, man. I wanted to ask you um, what, what you think is wrong with teenagers nowadays not respecting their parents and talking to them like they're talking down to them. And uh, if you think that's the fault of the parents or the, the teenager's fault, because I'm only 17 myself, and uh, I see a lot of my friends talking down to, to down to their parents and not respecting them. Yes. And what you think the deal is with that? 100 percent the parents' fault. They have not. They are not perfect parents. They are living wrong in front of their children. In many cases, the fathers are weak and allowing the mother to run the family. Uh, so the parents are angry. And they're treating their children in the wrong way. And the kids are rebelling. It's totally the parents' fault. When the kids become an adult, I mean, when they become adults, they need to overcome that or they're going to have the same life that their parents are having. But it's definitely the parents' fault. The parents are no good. When you see the kids, when you see the kids, you see the parents. Right. Yeah, I definitely noticed that a lot of these kids have fathers that seem like they're beta males yes. that have a lot of anger in them. Yep. And uh, they don't have God in their life, or they, they want to deny that God's there. When you can't have um, God in your life when you don't have your earthly father in your life. When you hate your father, right. when you hate your earthly father, you hate God. Yeah, I totally get that. That resentment thing, that's a, a really good point you make a lot, is not resenting your father. Because if you resent your father, you're going to, Resent God and resent the truth. Yeah. You don't want to hear the truth. That's, that's a really good point. And a lot of those kids that you're running into who are, quote unquote, disrespecting their parents, they're being turned away from their fathers by their mothers. The mothers have imposed her life on them, trying to make them be what she wanted them to be. She has no patience with them. Or she telling the, the kids that father, your father is an alcoholic. Your father is a drunk. Your father cheated on I me. Mean, all kind of crap. The mother playing yeah. victim, and the kids will identify with her, but yet the kids still hate the mother because she's imposed her will on them. Yeah, I agree. I definitely see that in my, my own life, too, because, like I said, I'm only 17. I'm still living at home, uh, getting ready to go to school next year, and um, I kind of I kind of see that, you know, your mother wanting you to stay away from your father and stuff like that. And, yeah. Uh, I definitely think that's a problem with kids uh, nowadays and stuff, and... I feel like it used to not be like that. At least that's what my dad tells me. Right. It wasn't that way before. Yeah. Well, where do you think it went wrong exactly? Like at what what point in time did it it switch and everyone started falling away from God? With the Women Lives movement, they started all this stuff, and women who were not even women lives fell for the lie, and now women are taking over in all the places like churches and schools and government and businesses, even the women who are supposed to be Christians are listening to the, uh, uh, the feminist women lives movement and they are becoming like them. And so they are forcing that hatred onto everybody. But it started with yeah. the women's live movement. The men became afraid and let these women go out of control, and it's just been downhill ever since. Yeah, that that makes that makes a lot of sense. I, I definitely believe also in the, uh, the yeah. order that you say, um, you know, God over man, man over woman, woman over children, yep. and stuff like that. And you, you definitely don't see that spiritual order uh, at play anymore in a lot of households, and it's it's just really sad to see. It is. You know, for lack of a better way to describe it. Have you dealt with your mother? Have I what? Have you forgiven your mother? Um, I'm working on that. I think I've I've mentally forgiven her, but I haven't talked to her. Yeah, you got to done it in person. Yeah, God said, go to her, go to her or whomever you have anger against and forgive them. Don't ask for forgiveness. Forgive them because they know not what they do, and he will forgive you. So forgive your mother, return to your father, forgive your father, and God will do the rest. Uh, yes, sir. That makes a lot of sense. 
and I'm I'm gonna have to do that. That's for sure. And do the same thing with my father as well. I'd like to, you know, talk to them both. Um, but do you think it's better to do that individually, like do it with your mother and and your father separately, or do them at the same time? Are they living? Are they still together? Yeah, they're still together. Do it just if you could get them together. Do it together when they're together. That way, they both will hear what you have to say. And it okay. would be amazing. But, yeah, if you could do it with both of them there, do it that way while you're still home. And once you go to school, your life going to be amazing. So, yeah, do it while they're t- uh, with them in the same room. That's amazing. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. And one other thing, Jake, I want to recommend is that when you do go off to school, make sure you work part time. Get yourself a job. Absolutely. At, so that your natural nature will develop. And if some reason you get, for some reason you get bored with school or you realize you've been forced to go to school, it's not really what you want, at least you'll be able to work for yourself and maybe even start your own business doing your own thing. So don't just let someone finance your school for you. Get a part-time job. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah, that's, that's a really good tip. I think I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm actually working now. Uh, part time, only a few days a week, though. Yeah, yeah you know, that's I'm fine. High school and, yes. Yeah, because I'm still in high school and all that. But definitely next year, I want to, um, you know, start doing like a, a real job that's really going to teach me something about life and and stuff like that. That's Get me on the right track. That's right. And when you, if you should graduate from school, and you already develop that nature in work, when you graduate, you don't have to move back home. A lot of guys, when they leave school, they go back home and be like a little woman. But you wouldn't yeah. have to do that because you've already you've developed the nature. You saved up some money. You'll be able to just get to an apartment or buy your house and just keep going forward rather than going backwards. Absolutely. Well, uh, that's all I had to ask you, Jesse. I really appreciate you taking my call. You're welcome, man. Keep me in touch as to how things are going, all right? All right. Will do. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Jake. That's amazing. Amazing. You're welcome. Super Jazz. That is amazing. 17 years old. That is nice. To be waking up at 17 is mind-blowing. 